Hello, this is Melvin Bradley, the second out of Atlanta, GA. I uh, just wanted to come to you this evening uh, just to shoot a real short video. This is actually my first official video, uh, kind of an introductory uh, video. And the reason why I'm doing a video is because actually about, I guess maybe two to three years ago, a business partner of mine started, um, you know, kind of told me, Melvin, you really need to get yourself out there. You know, being in the business world, this is the future. This is the way that people will know who you are. This is the way that you create your brand. You know, but me being old school, I uh, figured I knew everything about, you know, marketing myself, thinking I knew everything about business because I had been, you know, pretty successful. Uh, I didn't listen. But now it's actually time to get with the time. So, you know, I definitely um, want to thank Mr. Brandon Ivey for um, giving me the first introduction to actually doing videos and posting them on the Internet. So what I like to do at this particular time is for those of you that do not know me, I like to introduce to some and present to others Melvin Bradley II. Um, well, who is Melvin Bradley II? Well, first of all, like I said, I I'm, I'm live here in Atlanta, GA. I've um, been here uh, consistently, I guess, since about 1993. Uh, since 1993, I've had the uh, great pleasure of um, serving in our United States Marine Corps. Um, which kind of brought me, you know, back to Atlanta. Uh, also, before that, I was actually in school where I was able to um, attend Hampton University. I was at Hampton University for four years and was able to um, study in the field of accounting. After finishing up accounting, I was actually able to work for one of the uh, top three accounting firms, uh, which unfortunately is a defunct uh, business now due to some things that had happened. But anyway. Um, so then after that, I was actually fortunate enough to spend some time um, in the Marine Corps, got a lot of good leadership uh, skills, a lot of leadership abilities, um, learned a whole lot actually in our, in our military, being in the United States Marine Corps, but wasn't necessarily for me. I wasn't a lifer in the military. Uh, so while in the military, I also worked for the uh, number one beverage company in the world, actually, and uh, got some experience there, too, some corporate America experience. Um, but then I also realized at that particular time that wasn't for me either. So the military wasn't for me, even though I love the structure. I learned a lot, learned a lot. Most of my success comes from what I learned in the Marine Corps. Um, outside of my upbringing as well. And then as far as my education kind of all made me the well-rounded person, but I actually learned a lot from the Marine Corps. And uh, I got a lot of corporate experience from working at that beverage company. You know, I got an opportunity to do a lot of uh, corporate trainings, uh, an opportunity to actually see from the beginning to the end result of um, product implementation. But I realized that that wasn't for me. You know, I'm actually I'm a people person. I love to be around individuals. And in that particular job, I mean, I literally was in a um, in a laboratory, you know, if you're talking about eight hours a day, sometimes five, six times a day with the same exact people every single day. And that just wasn't for me. I mean, even the co corporate structure, I realized that I was meant more, you know, meant for more than that. So I began to kind of search and I began to look and I began to kind of start other different businesses. I knew that just working for someone, it wasn't me. And I began to realize that it's, it's really um, regardless of what you're doing, you should have something that's yours that's generating income on the side. So that's what I did. I had a little detail business. I had a house cleaning business. Uh, I had a lawn care business. I mean, I did it all while still in the Marine Corps, still working for this beverage company because I realized that I was looking and I was searching for something um, and also wanted to take the background that I got in accounting. One of the reasons why I even studied accounting is because I had a mentor um, that basically said that that was he knew that I was really big into community service. And this would be a good opportunity, if nothing else, where I can help small businesses um, get themselves established and so that they know the business structure, which is one of the things that was missing in a small business. So what I did is I started to create my own small businesses and got those businesses successful using the background that I had. Um, but even that, I, I, I 
you know, I, I was hustling, doing everything I could do, actually making decent money, making decent money in the Marine Corps, uh, as well as making, you know, very, I guess would be considered decent money uh, for this beverage company. But I just knew that I wanted more. Uh, so I was fortunate enough to just kind of search out into some different business arenas and kind of uh, ran across, um, I guess, um, network marketing. I look at it as leverage distribution where I can make money while I was actually at that beverage company. I was still making money um, regardless of me being there because I leveraged my time. But we'll, I'm actually going to do another video about the industries that I've been involved in. But just kind of wanted to you know, tell you a little bit about who I am. Um, so anyway, so in doing that, I actually learned a lot about myself. I got exposed to a lot of individuals and I realized what I can do in order to assist individuals live the best lives that they can live. And I and I know without a shadow of a doubt, my purpose and my niche is to help people uh, financially. Uh, after leaving the beverage company and getting out of the Marines, get into as a matter of fact, I actually financial advisor and I had a so I had all the different licenses but unfortunately by being a financial advisor I was restricted because it is federally mandated you know, tell a client that I would do my to when I started taking money that leverage distribution around it did a few properties most little flipping properties and for anybody that knows me that's where I made the bulk of my money I mean that was the first you know um, over six figures in a month consistently consistently and consecutively uh, to where we generated well over you're talking about net income over a million dollars in less than a 12 months period of time and I realized that being able to show people what I did over a period of time from working a job I worked corporate America I've been in the military and you gotta understand this I did all of this while having a family and raising a family as well um, I have a you know large family, so I was able to do it all. So this video is basically just to let you know who I am. I'm a person that wants to give back. I want to teach and show individuals that they too can make it and show you how to make it. Not just saying that you can make it, but show an individual how to make it. And different types of industry. It's not just one industry. I'm, I'm not one of those individuals who say you just do exactly what I do. Um, and that is the only thing that you can do as far as that's what's going to make you successful. There are so many different ways for individuals to be successful in life. And I just want the opportunity to kind of share with you over a period of time different things that I personally have done. And then also any other individuals, mentors and friends that I know that have done different types of uh, businesses, different types of strategies. Um, whether it, whatever it may be, whatever it is that's gonna that helps an individual become successful, I want to share those tips with you. So Melvin Bradley II, once again, I'm a family man, but I'm an individual that believes in giving back into the community. I believe in sharing uh, financial awareness, helping individuals to, uh, if you're in debt, to get out of debt, and if you're out of debt, to stay out of debt. More importantly, to show you how to get some disposable income because that's what we're all needing. The economy's not getting better regardless of what they say. So what do we do? We're going to take massive action to make sure we get as many people as possible to a position to where money is no longer an issue if you will allow for me and my business partners to do that. And the last thing I say is towards the end of, um, I think it was 2010 or the beginning of 2010, me and some of my business partners, we created an organization called CEOs Unlimited. And what CEOs Unlimited stands for, CEO stands for Cooperative Economic Opportunities. And that's what I'm going to be sharing with you over the next few months, possibly over the next year or so how to generate cooperative economic opportunities, how we can collectively work together to generate as much cash flow as possible. So regardless of what happens, ours, we're taken care of and our families are taken care of and our communities are taken care of as well. What CEOs Unlimited is, the whole mission behind CEOs Unlimited is for us to create our own economic system so people will not have to compromise their faith, their family and their future. And that's actually very dear to me. You know, because I've seen individuals that I've actually have been a victim of having to uproot a family based on a job, based on the fact that I had to do it because my income was dependent upon that. 
but not realizing that we create our own opportunities. And what I want to share with you is how we can create our own opportunities even while we're working our jobs. So for whatever reason, uh, which recently happened for those of you, some individuals that know me, and of course most of you do not know me, I actually still work a job now. I work for a uh, one of the top luxury car dealers, authorized car dealers, and I also work in the airline industry as well. And the airline industry that I work for here in here in Atlanta, uh, based on a buyout, a lot of you know friends that I know, a lot of people that I know that I work with were displaced because the company decided that they had other plans, but the plans weren't the people's plans. So these individuals had to uproot their families in order to go to you know uh, places that they didn't know anybody. And, you know, having to take kids out of schools. Well, who is to say that that was your purpose to be in the other city? See, if you put yourself in a position and that's what I want to go over. That's who I am is to put people in positions to where money is not an issue. And you make a move because you want to make the move. You know, if you want to live in uh, Los Angeles or Houston or Minneapolis, you made that move because you want to, not because of the plan of someone else. What we want to do is show you how to get your financial stability and financial independence so you determine who you are and where you want to be. But anyway, in a nutshell, Melvin Bradley is an individual that really, truly have a heart for the people and want to show individuals how they can be successful in life. So if you would just follow me, um, whether it be a Facebook, uh, I'm also on Twitter. Just kind of follow me, follow these videos along. I promise you, um, I can assure you that it will be uh, a help to you. Once again, my name is Melvin Bradley II. Thank you for listening.